Many, 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 many men wish death on me. Oh, I don't, I don't know. But you know that I got a roll. Cause I got it on me. Uh, I got it on me. Uh, you could get it if you want. Sorry, I had to remix that shit a little bit. But anyways, what's up, what's happening? It's K.A. We back in this year. Now, apparently... Out of the long list of B-50 saying, hey, I wasn't expecting this one. It looked like he got another one. Christian Combs, King Combs has entered the fray and dropped a little diss track against 50 Cent. Now, he probably is sticking up for his dad after all, like, with all this, like, surviving Diddy and all this bullshit that's going on in the Diddy kids. By the way, I do have a video. I might just drop it just because at this point it's old and I don't want to drop it anymore. But honestly, like... <clears throat> Because stuff hasn't really been happening in the Diddy Kids, like, more information as well. And they're trying to get this one uh, thrown out with the whole studio one with the other person involved as well, the other executive. So a lot of stuff has not been happening. And I had the case, basically, I was like, yo, as much as this shit is going on, and yeah, and this new case with Christian Combs and this girl alleging that uh, he assaulted her and did some stuff with her um, that was not consented basically um i was saying like yeah uh what's his name tyrone blackburn like as a lawyer he does fabricate some shit he applies pressure he does a little bit too much i might still put out the video even though it's like at this point it's like a month old at this point i might still fu fuck it you know i'm gonna throw it I, I, basically this part was to convince myself but anyways christian combs this this is fi uh 50 cents so sorry about that should have led with that <laughs> but anyways what's up what's happening it's ka we back in this thing okay so good they sleep with a cut up a throne you know the nigga wanted to turn you heard me hey we had to talk about some shit real quick now i did not see this happening like i said christian's probably sticking up for his father and 50 cent he'd been making the jokes especially going out his mom by the way we don't know if diddy was allegedly trying to smash 50 cents baby mom she looked nice or whatever but like that's crazy as hell that is crazy and listen if the rumors weren't true bro regardless if i was a father and allegedly you getting money from men for adult work if you will baby girl i kind of gotta look at you a little bit like all right all right like hey i'm getting the kid a little bit more often because you're doing a little bit too much out here but let's read about this so 50 Cent isn't letting up on King Combs. So he dropped the diss track. He had some, uh, like, some... It was just a little bar, fam. It was a little one-two bar. It wasn't that serious. I'm not throwing it up. But anyway, and honestly, this Drake and Kendrick shit got me tired. But anyways, 50 Cent is not letting up on King Combs after the son of Diddy dropped a diss uh, track aimed at 50 in defense of his father on Sunday night. In two new posts on Instagram, 50 brought up a woman by the name of Grace O. Mark Craig. I don't know how to say her name. If I mispronounced it, I do apologize. Um, but Grace who was accused who who has accused Com oh her okay so yeah she's the girl that accused uh uh king combs blame it. accused combs of sexual assault and harassment she made the claims in a lawsuit in los angeles county superior court last month you know what fuck it, i'm dropping that video fuck it, I don't give a fuck, no. damn this is 50 at the same time king combs that what you told grace on the boat huh gave her uh gave her the puffy juice with the special sauce in it lol boy oh boy bad boy for life 50 row and another post he added now why would you say some ish like this when you know the feds are investigating is you stupid or is you dumb which eh? i ain't gonna lie listen this i know at this point in the kendrick drake beef a lot of people are calling drake a pedo but i ain't gonna lie like and it has taken some light off of the whole diddy situation i ain't gonna lie that i'm not saying this motherfucker is guilty all I am saying is, hey, nigga, you gonna have to pay some niggas. And I, and, bro, this is me. I might step out on the ledge, bro. I believe that Cassie shit, bro. If there's one person I will believe their claims is Cassie. I believe you did that shit to her. I'm not gonna lie to you. I believe it. I believe it. I'll stand on that hill by myself. Fuck it. But yeah, all I really gotta say at this point is, gang, even if you didn't do some of the shit these people are saying about you, clearly bro the way you be moving and certain things you be doing no, i get it you are from a different time some shit could fly back then but in 2024 or hey fuck 2024 for a second at least in the 2020s you know that shit ain't flying so whatever the fuck you was on nigga you got hey no more no mas you heard me no mas but anyways let's continue 
Combs addresses the controversy surrounding his father as well as recent homeland security raids on the family's properties in Los Angeles and Miami on the song. <clears throat> this quote from King Combs. I dare one of you N-words scream out no diddy, Combs rap, referencing the Bible. That shit funny as hell, I'm sorry. That shit funny. No diddy. I ain't gonna lie. That shit funny as hell, I'm sorry. Uh, Combs raps referencing the viral meme. Police raid. Is this still the quote? Police raid the crib like we think we selling crack. But we out here selling tracks. Multi-millionaire dollar plex. He bring. He also brings up 50 directly adding. When all they had was 50 cent who put the city on the map. Stop lying. Pop's been, Pop's been hated on by many men and niggas. Uh, and nigga. That's fine. They're going to try to stop these M&M's. And they're going to die trying. I'm sorry. Listen, I fuck with Eminem and shit. But to say in these millionaires, like you getting Eminem's like, yo, that wordplay is so, it's so trash. Like, like he doing this thing. Like, that's no more. At this point, it's petty. He's kind of inheriting the beef from his father. I personally am not mad at it. It is what it is at the end of the day. But yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see at this point what is going on. But I'm not mad at it. He's sticking up for his father. And 50 do do him. 50 petty is here, I will say. I don't know what it was or what Diddy did or what relationship them people have that he don't really fuck with. with, with what's it called? Diddy. This month, ever, bro, been going at Diddy. Been going at Diddy. Like, I don't know what it is. And 50 don't stop. Like, you, I personally, I don't know who won the beef between 50 Cent and Rick Ross. But, like, that's still going on. <laughs> like, that's crazy as hell. Like, them niggas still don't fuck with each other. It's crazy. 50 just a petty-ass nigga at, this, at the end of the day. But besides all that, man, all I really got to say at this point, bro, is, hey, we'll see what happens. As much as I respect him for sticking up for his dad and his family, if you will, and 50 do do a little too much, I will agree. That's 50. That's big 50. You heard me? But I will say this. Like, bro... It ain't looking good. Now, the great shorty with you, uh, with King Combs, I don't know about that one. Those accusations. I don't, I don't know about it. And it got slow. It got a little bit quiet. I ain't gonna lie. So, hopefully, it picks up again and we learn some more information about the shit right now that's going on between uh, King Combs' case and his father's case. But, bro, like, with the feds coming and sweeping in the house, all the claims Cassie made, if we're gonna believe one person, it's probably gonna be Cassie at this point. And all this other shit, niggas coming out doing this shit. Apparently, the dude that was at the crib is a drug mule like come on for this shit ain't looking good like like y'all y'all gotta get some shit in order come on bro and like yo did he gonna have to pay some money and like i said before i always say this a lot of the time now i know it's different circumstances when you have certain people who like the kodak blacks and the freddie gibbs and certain people that get locked up for allegedly saying people or women if you will even if you're proven innocent sure you're proven innocent there's you know what I'm saying they take just the accusation and the court case and all that shit, sometimes that could skew your image. And if we're going to believe Cassie, which I, at this point, I believe her statements, even if um, Lil Rod and all these other motherfuckers coming out and saying some shit about you, about Diddy, and even this Grace Girl saying something about King Combs is not true, we will still look at y'all like, y'all niggas was doing a little too much, bro especially in the case of diddy like nigga you was doing a little too much and you gotta stop moving nigga stop all these these fucking diddy parties also why the fuck was td jakes there what type of party was td jakes nigga i ain't gonna lie bro you had that nigga bless the freak off i'm sorry i believe cassie at this point i'm sorry and I believe the one motherfucker, there was a report that saying that this nigga had cameras in his house when you throw these parties and certain individuals was there. It was cameras recording some shit. If they was on some wild freaky shit, you probably, I would not be surprised, especially just for like protection. You have cameras in your house. You know what I'm saying? Just in case some motherfuckers do some shit. But like, I would not be surprised. You hear me at the end of the day? But hey, we will see. We will see what happens. Comment down below, links in the description. Besides all that, your friendly neighborhood KA sign out for today. The black TJ that while I'm doing this thing. My name ring bells like quasi motor here. Like subscribe, try a little bit more to hear me. I'm gone. Slimes on peace, y'all's gang. Aye.